morning, Hamilton Wildcats. Today is Friday, February 5th, and it is a V-Day. Now, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, I'm Ali, and I'm your vice president for the Black Student Union. Today, we're going to be talking about hair and hairstyles in the African-American community. Black women possess a gene called the mitochondrial DNA. This allows us to give our children any type of physical trait. Me being biracial, I carry this gene, meaning that I have white and black features, one being my hair. Black women and men have had to fight long and hard to wear their natural hair out, even wearing them in braids, locks, coils, and cornrows. Did you know that news anchors couldn't wear their hair curly or kinky? They'd have to straighten it because their image didn't fit what America wanted to see. Even today, in 43 different states, it is still legal to discriminate someone against their hair, hair texture, or hairstyle. A lot of people don't know the history behind braids, cornrows, or dreads. Slaves would braid rice into their children's hair so when they ran away, they could feed their kids along the way. Also, braids were used as a protective style to protect their hair from the sun while they worked long, hard hours in the field. Our hair is not fashion, but it is our culture. Thank you. Enjoy your morning announcements. What's up, Hamilton High School? This is Mrs. Green, your proud principal. I come to you today to tell you about all our awesome students, all of you, and those that have been nominated for Student of the Month. First one is Keyshawn Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson was nominated by Mr. Hawley. Keyshawn shows up every single class and works hard. He turns in all of his assignments on time. It's a pleasure to have in class. He has great participation, and his ability is great to work with others and to help them do well. Our next student of the month is Kamari Alford. Kamari Alford was nominated by Mr. Holly as well. Early in the semester, Kamari, Kamari made the bold claim that he was going to be the January student of the month. Well, Kamari, you did it. His participation, effort, and positive energy set the tone for 2021, and he made true on his bold claim. Keep up the great work, Kamari. Good job. Our next student of the month is Leland Antonio. Leland was nominated by Ms. Shuttle. Ms. Shuttle nominated Leland because he made great progress from the start of the school year until now. He participates in class frequently and with discussions through peer deck and through chat. He has made great gains and has been doing a great job advocating for himself. He's an incredibly friendly and fun student to have in class. Keep being cool, Leland. Keep it up, Leland. Great job. Our next student of the month is Elishama Madrid Hernandez. Elishama was nominated by Miss Monroe. Elishama consistently works hard, participates in class, and turns in great work. She should be very proud of herself and her adjustment to virtual learning. We're proud of you, Elishama. Keep it up. Keep it up. The next student is Rebecca Nazario. Rebecca was nominated by Miss Milbauer. Rebecca has worked hard at building confidence and playing the saxophone. Ooh, I used to play the saxophone when I was a year eight. So she did a great, she's doing a great job this, this year. She's amazing and she's amazing her own self. Excellent personal perseverance, a great leader to have in class. Great job, Rebecca. Next is Dante, Dante Joyner. Dante Joyner was nominated by Mr. Landingham. Dante is a natural born leader who leads by example. That is definitely the truth. Even though students are not quite required to have cameras on, he always has his camera on. You go, Dante. Dante always gives his best effort and he will be the first to attempt to answer any question as well as share things that he has learned. He will advocate for himself when he needs help and he makes sure all of his assignments are completed, even if it requires working one-on-one -on -one with his teacher after school. That's what I'm talking about, Dante. He always makes sure that his teachers understand his passion for education and for doing well in school. Great job, Dante, great job. That's one of our seniors, good to go. Ricardo, Ricardo Gayton. Ricardo was nominated by Miss Villa Gomez. 
he helps the teacher and makes a lot of progress in his ACP class. Keep it up, keep it up, Ricardo. That's the way you go, that's the way you do things. Next is Juan Curran. He is working very hard. Mr. Curran, Pajan, or Juan, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, please forgive me. But he is doing a work, working very hard and being pro proactive this semester. He was nominated by Ms. Lutz. He checks in with her every day and has been checking with his teachers to keep up on his assignments. She is so proud of you and so am I. Keep working to be successful. Next is Arafa, Arafa Mohammed Shafi. Arafa Mohammed Shafi, Shafi was nominated by Ms. Meyer. He, Arafa is being nominated because she, this student made an A during the first semester. She comes to office hours and participates in class constructively. She's part of the discussions and she is just a meaningful education experience for the class. She provides meaningful education and just really bringing a lot about her people, Rohingya Muslims, to all of her classmates and teaching them all. We appreciate you and appreciate all your contributions to your class. Next is Kong Lee. Kong Lee was nominated by Ms. Chong. Excellent attendance and participation in class, takes an initiative in learning, respects the role as a student and respects others in the learning environment. Kong, we are proud of you. That is definitely the Wildcat way. Our next student of the month that was nominated was Devon Tobian. Devon was nominated by Ms. Lutz. Uh, virtual learning has been difficult, has been difficult for all of us, Devon, but Devon has persevered and pressed on. And basically, he never gives up. That's what I'm talking about, never giving up. And he's found success. And we are so proud of him. And Ms. Lutz is so proud of him. And that is why she nominated you, Devon. Keep it up. Next is Pierre Sanders. Ladies, the men have got the young man have got you, I believe, this month for the, the uh, student of the month. Pierre. Pierre Sanders was nominated by Miss Milbauer. Pierre is a positive role model and participates in class. He takes personal personal initiative. Way to go, Pierre. We are so proud of all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just so proud of all you Wildcats. You all are rocking and rolling. Our next student of the month is Shaman Ali. Shaman was nominated by Ms. Mulcurrence. Shaman is one of the hardest working students she knows. Shaman always turns in her assignments on time and has excellent class partic participation. Ms. Mulcurrence is very proud of your consistent progress in language, and we are also very proud of you as well. Way to go, way to go. Next is Dolce, Dolce James. Dolce, I believe, is one of our morning show announcers. She was nominated by Ms. Perez Sanchez. Wonderful student, and she is doing an excellent job. Excellent job all the way around. We appreciate you. Keep it up. Keep being that leader you are. You show what it is to be a true Wildcat. Next, our nominee is Tabitha Sherman. Tabitha was nominated as student of the month by Miss Barry Savota. Miss Barry says that Tabitha has had perfect attendance so far this semester. That's what you rock, Tabitha, and has completed all her assigned work with great skill. Up to a great start, you keep it up, Tabitha. And that is our students of the month, Wildcats. You go, Wildcats. Remember, be safe, responsible, and respectful. And maybe next month, it just might be you. But congratulations to all our January students of the month. And next month, I'll be back at you with all those nominations from your teachers. Keep it up. Way to go, Wildcats. Class of 2024 Academic Top 10, Philar T, Kaylee D, 
Alexandria S, Nadine J, Hiba H, Kishan J, Logan M, Pierce D, Wulia A, Patrick B, Jessica B, Dose J, Savannah L, Arafa S, Jesse S, Christopher S, and Duati. Sorry if I pronounced any of your names incorrectly. What do you do if your teacher asks you to complete an assignment you thought was morally wrong? Read Liza Weimer's The Assignment to find out about two fictional students who have to make the decision. Even better, come to a book talk with the author herself, Liza Weimer. The book talk will be next Thursday, February 11th from 2.45 to 3.30. The Google Meet link is on this slide. And also in the library Google Classroom, the code is 7YYHKM3. Liza Weimer will talk about her writing process and give inspiring examples on how you can stand up for justice. We hope to see you there. Good morning. Do you have a best friend that you would like to show off to the rest of the school? If so, please take a picture and send it to Markowski. His email will be somewhere over here or over here. Go out, cats! Hey, Wildcats. Would you like to send notes to your friends? best friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, crush, or teachers. If you would like to do that, ask your teachers for the link. Send your love from February 1st to February 5th. Thank you in advance. Good morning, Hamilton Wildcats. For lunch today, you will have pizza dippers, marinara sauce, broccoli, chilled pears, and both white and chocolate milk. Be sure to visit the MPS homepage website to find your local grab-and-go site. All grab-and-go sites are open between 11 in the morning and 1.30 in the afternoon. Thank your lunch, ladies. Thank you. Please help me in wishing Trevion Saxton and Maria Youssef a very happy birthday. Be respectful, safe, and responsible. Have a nice day. <laughs>